Last time we covered the reason GPU prices are not back to MSRP. In this video we'll show an update of where the pricing is today and does AMD and Nvidia have a strategy to maintain the higher prices and help set the new normal? Let's get into it. The pricing of GPUs is continuing to decline at a steady pace. If we take a look at the prices from my last chart in mid-March and update them with the prices at Newegg today, I use Newegg this time as the price drops across the board are more significant than at Micro Center. Starting with Nvidia, the RTX 3060 is unchanged at $460, while the 3060 Ti saw a drop of $30. The 3070 saw a drop of $150, however, supply is limited. The 3070 Ti went back up to $800. The 3080 with 10 gigabytes of VRAM saw a drop to $1,000, while the 3080 with 12 gigabytes is still higher at about $1,200. The 3080 Ti is now at $1,300, while the 3090 dropped below $2,000 at $1,920. For AMD, the RX 6600 saw a price drop of $30, while the 6600 XT had a price drop of $40. The 6700 XT also dropped in price by $30. The RX 6800 dropped to $890, although supply is limited. The 6800 XT dropped to $1,000, consistent with the 3080, and the 6900 XT can be had for $1,150, which is 15% over the MSRP. So the more significant price drops for AMD cards occurred at the higher end. Part of the reason for the slow decline is that retailers paid wholesalers and AIBs the higher prices and they don't want to take a large loss and they are willing to keep the cards on the shelves longer. But they can only hold out for about three months or a quarter as that is how often publicly traded companies have earnings calls. The other reason is the demand by gamers. As I see prices drop closer to MSRP, the stock is usually quickly depleted until sold out. There are still a lot of people who have not yet upgraded, while others have let me know in the comments sections they have just upgraded. By the way, thank you to everyone for all the comments in my previous videos. For many, the price reduction was close enough to MSRP, and they are willing to pay a small premium to get the card now. And even though some have bought now, there are still others who refuse to pay a dime over MSRP, or are waiting until the next generation. Now some people have told me in the comments of my last videos that it is not greed, it's just business. And here's why I don't agree. If you look at the definitions of greed and business, you find that greed is a human desire that is intense and selfish. Business is the practice of making one's living through commerce. Equating the two is just an attempt to rationalize that greed is good for business. If you can equate that greed is good, where good is measured by money, if you can get more money, then it's more good. And this line of rationalization somehow justifies human behavior that is intense and selfish. You can be more intense and more selfish as long as you make more money. But is being more intense and more selfish more good? Grammatical errors aside, I think you get the point. Let's move on. Getting back to the question of strategy, what will AMD and Nvidia do to assist in keeping higher prices so that by next generation it just becomes the new normal, where the new normal has the prices of GPUs raised permanently. Simple economics says that market prices are set based on supply and demand. And that is very true long term if you have true competition in the market. But we have a duopoly and you can only buy GPUs from either AMD or Nvidia. This generation has provided the perfect opportunity to increase the MSRP since the GPU mining boom has been going strong for more than 18 months and we are less than six months away from having the next generation of GPUs released later this year. But they haven't raised MSRP this generation, haven't they? Think about what Nvidia has done. For example, two GPUs that offered great value for the dollar were the RTX 3080 at 699 and the RTX 3060 Ti at 399. When you look at the 3080 with 10 gigabytes, you find the availability is scarce. That's because it's been replaced with the 3080 with 12 gigabytes, and that card has no MSRP, but is currently selling for well over $1,000. Also, when you look for a 3060 Ti, you find that it is also scarce, along with its bigger brother, the 3070. However, you can find plenty of 3070 Ti's on shelves that start at $800. Fun fact, all three are based on the same GA104 die. So you are left with a choice to pay the higher price on the older card in short supply or 
pay more and get slightly better performance on the newer card. What about AMD? The RX 6800 has an MSRP of 579 while the 6800 XT is at 649 However, the prices for these have typically been well over $1,000 and they haven't been available at the AMD store for a while now. Now that prices are coming down, the availability of those are drying up and you see more RX 6900 XTs available. Fun fact, the 6800, 6800 XT and the 6900 XT all use the same Navi 21 die. So if you want a big Navi die, then you will still have to pay over $1,000. And the RX 6700 XT price is coming down, however it seems to be slowing to a level where the RX 6800 used to start. So by removing supply of the previous MSRP cards, they can effectively increase the average transaction price. So while you can say they didn't raise the MSRP, you can't find enough supply of them to get them at MSRP and are forced to move up. Also, as we get closer to the next generation of GPUs to be released, Look for NVIDIA to repeat what they did in 2020 with Touring. Back then, they stopped production several months ahead of the launch of the RTX 30 series. This will have the effect of further limiting supply. Companies have become very good at managing inventory near the end of the life cycles of products and you don't find as many deals on previous gen cards once the new ones launch. By the way, if you like videos like this, like, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below the last time you purchased a GPU at the end of its generation at a bargain price. So this is how they will control and manipulate the supply. But what about demand? Replacing the previous MSRP cards with new ones will help stimulate demand. Now Nvidia refreshed their lineup with the 3080 with 12 gigabytes and the addition of the 3090 Ti. Going forward, you will see wider availability of these newer cards versus the original cards. And AMD is set to refresh the RDNA 2 series, but only for the highest versions of the die. For Navi 21, that means the 6900 XT will be refreshed to the 6950 XT. For Navi 22, the 6700 will become the 6750. And for Navi 23, the 6600 XT will become the 6650 XT. This 50 plus refresh will use the same die. It will just include higher speed RAM. Do you think those will be priced at the previous MSRP level? And the performance increase is not worth a refresh. I mean, who is asking for an RX 6950 XT? It's not going to be that much faster. You want to know how much faster? They already released a GPU with these specs in June of 2021 as the liquid cooled version. Look at the reviews of that card and that's what you will get with the new 6950 one year later. AMD will refresh these cards and make them look different, they will paint them black, and these will become the new shiny thing. But it creates the illusion that you are getting more performance with the refresh lineup and so this justifies a price increase. And that will help spark interest and demand and I'm sure all the tech channels will cover these refreshed GPUs. Then watch as the stock of the previous cards dwindle and the only thing sitting on shelves are the shiny new ones with their new prices. Think about it. If it only offers a small gain in performance, then why would AMD refresh GPUs and spend all that money just months away from the launch of RDNA 3? You'll be left with the same decision I mentioned earlier. Pay the higher price on older cards in short supply or get a little better performance and pay more for the shiny new one. Again, while not technically a price hike, it is a very effective method at upselling you on the new one and getting you to pay more. In summary, NVIDIA and AMD will stop making the previous MSRP cards and only have on the shelves the shiny new GPUs with the higher prices. This represents what they will do in the near term to keep prices higher than MSRP. This will serve as a bridge to the next generation launch. However, what will they do when they launch the new GPUs? What tactics will they employ to continue the walk towards a new normal of higher GPU prices? We'll cover that next time. Thank you all so very much for watching, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.